WhatsApp universities. Wow. People might not have any interest in learning from real universities or colleges or even from legit online data. But majority of the population loves to believe what they see on WhatsApp and before thinking or checking it twice, they just want to forward it as fast as possible. The latest addition to this COVID hoax is regarding menstruation and COVID vaccination. I'm sure many of you must have seen this and the fake message goes like this. A reminder for all women. Vaccination is starting from May 1st for above 18. For girls, it's very important to check periods and take vaccination. Really? Don't take the vaccine before and after 5 days of your periods because immunity will be very less during periods. Dosage of vaccine first decreases immunity, later it builds immunity, so there is a high risk of attack for one who vaccinated during periods. Share with your sister, friend, family, girlfriend. Don't feel shame to share. No, nobody, you should be ashamed to share this information because this is wrong as F. First of all, let me tell you that for any mass medical campaign such as this COVID vaccination campaign, the government organizations and international legit organizations, they release complete information about the category that could be at risk due to this campaign or due to this particular thing. Hence, we should be going to those websites and checking the data instead of believing in WhatsApp and easily, quickly forwarding it. Well, if you haven't checked that data yet, I will make it easier for you. I have done that and I will show it to you. So this is the authorized and authentic information regarding the contraindications of COVID vaccine released by National Health Mission. So first there is the authorized age group and then co-administration of vaccine which means that uh, other vaccines shouldn't be mixed so there is a rule for that. Contraindications which means people who should be careful while taking the vaccination. So first two points are related to allergic reactions and then comes pregnancy and lactation. So uh, pregnancy, pregnant and lactating women have not been part of any COVID vaccine clinical trial so far. So we should be really, uh, you know, we should really be paying attention to this sentence. It is not that pregnant and lactation, you know, pregnant women and ladies who do lactation, they should not, I mean, there's something wrong if they take the vaccine. It has not been proven. The thing is that none of the vaccine trials had pregnant or lactating women. So they cannot know the reaction. That's it. Then if we move forward with other uh, category of people who fall under the contraindication, people who are showing the symptoms of COVID and then patients who have been given anti sars cov 2 monoclonal antibodies and like who are seriously unwell and hospitalized. Then comes the special precautions. Vaccines should be administered with caution in persons with history of any bleeding or coagulation disorder. This is not periods. It is clotting factor deficiency and coagulopathy, you know, such disorders. It is, it is not periods. Please note, it is not periods. Periods is not considered as bleeding. Medical bleeding is not a medical bleeding. So I will link uh, down the document below uh, in the description so that you can actually see, you know, all these things, whole page of contraindications and none of it mentions anything about periods and is the menstrual bleeding really a problem no let's see how although we may assume that a lot of blood is lost during the period uh, because what because of what we see on the pads or the tampons or the menstrual cups what we see only 35 percentage of the whole discharge is blood rest of it is uterus lining and other discharge and tissues etc and you will be shocked to know if you don't know already that the total amount of blood lost during the whole period like you know even if your period st stays for seven days the the total number would be the total amount of blood lost would be something between 40 milliliter to 60 milliliter uh, this much imagine how less is that so once again i'm repeating whatever we see as the total menstrual discharge the blood consists you know the, the quantity of blood in that is very less like i said 35 percentage or something and the rest of it is constituted by other things like uterus lining and tissues and discharges. 
so what i'm implying to say here is that the period bleeding is menstrual bleeding is completely normal and healthy and it does not have any adverse effect or it's not related um, adversely to covid vaccination it has nothing to do with immunity the periods has nothing to do with immunity and if at all you you know there is any study at some point if any study comes related to this we all will be informed through proper channels like you know legit news websites and news channels or government authorized sites having said this you should also know that uh, you know there are several fact checking websites so whenever you get you or you know your family members get a whatsapp forward any forward you know no matter how believable it looks you should do a fact checking and now uh, indian government has also this fact checking website called pib so if you are a person who menstruates or you know someone who menstruates make sure that nothing stops you or them from getting the covid-19 vaccine and don't forget to share this video as an awareness also especially to those people who have shared the wrong whatsapp forward messages regarding the same so my name is gayatri and i would like to know what you want to see in my next video you can suggest the topics as the comment and that's it bye mm -hmm.